This is Dr. Stewart, Timonium Foot and Ankle Center. This morning we are going to give a video of a very common in-office procedure, which is an ingrown toenail. This young lady has been dealing with chronic ingrown toenails on her big toes for several years. She's been gnawing them, gnawing them out herself, doing bathroom surgery, struggling, and she finally made the decision to have me do it. So we are always going to check and say this is the side we're doing, correct? We always want to confirm. We can always... Uh, you know, we, once it's out, we can't cut it. So we're gonna start by using an, an instrument called an English anvil nail nipper. And we're gonna come under the side of the nail and we're gonna come beneath the nail like this. And we're gonna slide the instrument back, wiggle it a little bit, and we're gonna give it a nice crunch and clip that nail. You hear that nice sound, okay? And we're gonna take another instrument. This is called a number 62 blade and we're gonna squeeze it in that little groove and we're just going to push it back and that cuts through the nail and we're going all the way back to the base of the nail we have a little tourniquet on here we just use a glove nothing fancy um we cleanse the toe with some rubbing alcohol ahead of time she's bleeding a little bit but we're going to grab this piece of nail and we're going to grab it and we're going to twist it and by twisting it we're taking it out in full and you can see the nail comes out. There it is. That's the piece of the nail. Now, people are always surprised how far back that nail goes. And you can see there's the nail. We'll get a little, there's a little bit more still in there. That nail really goes all the way underneath there. And nails actually grow off of your bone. Your bone is all the way under here. So we're sticking this in there. And then we're going to take a little curetting instrument. And we're going to curette this area underneath of here. We're going to make sure we didn't leave any debris back there. Okay. As uh, you know, we scrape this here. You can hear a little scraping. Sometimes the patient will feel like something's like scratching on their toe. And what I'm doing by scraping this is I'm actually scraping those nail cells away. And by scraping the nail cells away, that can help uh, eliminate those nail cells from regrowing. And the whole point of this procedure is to remove the nail so that it does not come back. I can see there's still a little debris right here. And obviously the nail will be permanently smaller. And this procedure is called a partial nail avulsion. Hence, we're taking a part of the nail with phenol and alcohol matrixectomy. And so right now we're applying a Q-tip that has 89% phenolic acid and phenol is a chemical agent that will burn the nail matrix cells. So we're gonna apply this medication into the nail matrix we're going to twist these a little bit usually we'll do about four applications of this and we're going to let it sit in there and i know it looks a little gruesome and torturous but are we having any pain yeah. no no pain Not she's enough. shaking her head no no pain <laughs> so she's having no pain and we're twisting this in here and we're getting rid of this nail and statistically these work very very these have a very high success rate you know, the textbooks will say that about 10% of these will grow back. And don't get me wrong, we definitely have some patients where they do grow back. It just is the nature of the beast. Some patients' bodies just don't like responding to the acid. And if that occurs, we'll do another procedure where I'll actually surgically cut it out. Um, some people get some residual scar tissue that bothers them, but we'll cut them out. But generally speaking, this is a fairly, uh, a very high, uh, has a very high success rate. So we're gonna put four applications. This patient actually is oozing a little bit because she does have a history of taking some blood thinners, which she has stopped, but sometimes patients that take blood thinners will still ooze a little bit because there's probably a very little residual effect of those blood thinners working. The advantage of using the acid is it will also cauterize. So you're seeing that, at, you're seeing that turning black. It's turning black because once the acid hits the blood, it's actually cauterizing. So cauterizing means stopping. Uh, the bleeding. So we put four applications of phenol in there and then we're just going to take a q-tip and we're going to basically flush this out with a little uh, isopropyl alcohol. We're going to rub a little alcohol in there and she's going to go home today. She's going to be numb for hopefully about four to six hours. She's going to go home today. She's going to take a little Tylenol. Her toe might feel like uh, a little heartbeat in it once the numbing medicine wears off and she's going to uh, Take the dressing off uh, when, when instructed. I'm going to put a little bit of a gel dress, a little, a little bit of a, a, a gel in here. This is a hydrogel to help it uh, help it wick everything out. Uh, and she'll do some dressing changes at home. And we're going to wrap her up. 
and we'll follow this back in about two weeks. These typically take about two to four weeks to fully heal. Um, they can take longer. Um, they can get infected. Uh, I would say the biggest complication we see with these are soft tissue infections. That's not uh, uncommon with these because the toenails, no matter how clean you are, bacteria like to live around our toes and toenails. We don't preventatively give antibiotics for this. Um, we will only treat them if they get infected. It's also very common for these procedures to get very red because we, after the procedure, uh, because we burn this with some acid. So that is an ingrown toenail procedure, commonly called a P and A, phenol and alcohol matrixectomy. And if you'd like to learn more, feel free to visit our website at www.timoniumfootandankle.com. Thank you.